we got a package. Well, actually we got two packages, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing of this. This is for a client project that I'll be working on in October. So I thought it'd be cool to just kind of unbox it for you guys and myself. I'm really excited about this project. I'm really excited about this product. I hope I'm unboxing the right one first. I don't think I am. Let's do this box first. Don't know if you can see it right there. This is the Hasselblad X2D 100C. Some big news, I will be working with Hasselblad uh, for a project in October where I will be traveling either to Washington State or New York City. Uh, I'm still waiting to figure out which one I'm gonna do and just sort of capture myself using this. This is a medium format camera from Hasselblad. I've never used a medium format camera before, so I am very, very interested to dive in. That is pretty. I mean, just right off the bat, this is one of the best feeling cameras ergonomically. Like this just feels like it's meant to be in my hand. I don't know if it's kind of the handle design or what, but this just feels good in my hand. Uh, the screen is massive. I've never seen an LCD screen that big. It's, I mean, it feels like it's probably 25% bigger than my Leica or my Canon LCDs. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, but the coolest thing about this camera is actually that you don't have to use memory cards if you don't want to. It has a one terabyte SSD built into the camera. Uh, that's one thing that I am most excited about. Like I said, this is a medium format camera. So the sensor is massive compared to my other cameras. This thing is huge. See what else we have inside. I don't know if you've ever had a Leica. One really cool thing about the Leica experience is the unboxing. Their boxes are really intricate. It feels like you're opening a uh, luxury watch or something. A little manual. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, see, this is very, very similar to the Leica unboxing, I would say. Super nice camera strap. Feels really durable and just looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. Huh. These are like quick removing straps. Oh yeah. Usually I use like the Peak Design uh, strap so I can easily take on and off my strap, but these actually can be removed without using those. This is that's kind of crazy. I did not know that that would be included in this. That is cool. Curious if this only, I'm assuming it only comes with one battery. I don't know what the battery life is like on these. Hopefully good. Here we have a really nice durable USB-C type three cord. Uh, I know this is a USB-C charging camera. So I'm really excited about that because I'm pretty sure it only comes with one battery. Yeah, I guess this is for the battery cover. Let me see if I can figure out how to get the battery out. Comes out exactly how the like a battery comes out and I have to just push it a little bit and it pops right back out. Yes, this is a battery cover when it's not in use, but I only have one. So it's always going to be in the camera and the other box. Sure. You can assume what this would be, but we'll go ahead and let the suspense build up a little bit anyway. That is pretty looking. There you are. The 38 millimeter lens. So this is medium format. So if you're thinking in terms of full frame, that is more around a 30 millimeter 
focal length. I chose this lens because I shoot a lot of 28 millimeter and I wanted to try and get as close to that as possible. And the next step up in the lens would be around a 43 millimeter forefront full frame equivalent, uh, but 55 millimeter medium format. And I thought that might just be a little tight for what I was hoping to do, but wow, that is, that's amazing how it's, that just seems so small for the front of the lens. Like the back of the, the back glass of the lens is actually larger by a fair margin than the front of the lens. I've never actually seen that in a lens before, so I'm curious. And along with the lens is, I'm assuming a lens hood. The, the thing about these products is that they're all, they're made completely out of metal and like a rubber kind of substance. So it feels, there's almost no plastic on these things. They feel extremely, extremely durable. It makes them a little heavier, but I mean, they do feel good. Let's see what this is. I'm assuming just a little storage bag. Yes. I'll leave that in there for now. I don't think I'll be storing it anytime soon. Okay, the entire box just came apart, so that's that's perfect. And there you go. This is what I will be shooting most of my photography on over the next two months, probably. Just trying to get as much content uh, with it as I can, and I'm really excited to test it out. This is a obviously a very well built camera. It feels like in terms of build quality, this feels like the best piece of equipment I've ever had in my hands. And that in itself is impressive. Battery's a little low, that's okay. Just get an idea of how big that LCD screen is compared to like my hand or something. The thing is massive. That is amazing. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to open this up in front of you all. Just, uh, I will be doing some reviews on it probably over the next couple months. I wanna kind of take it on uh, probably two or three trips before I give it a full review. Um, I wanna really be able to test it out in different conditions, different lightings, different environments, as far as I wanna do some city stuff, but I also wanna do some nature oriented stuff. So a lot of reviews coming out uh, about this camera and overall just how I feel about it. And I'm really excited to test this thing out in the field. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this camera anytime soon. Thanks, guys.